descending. Ah, ah, ah. You won't get away with that. Protego, stop it! You only have one lot to blame. Rebellion. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Marlin. Leviosa. Leviosa. Confringo. Revelio. Leviosa! Devolsa! Accio! Guardian Leviosa!
Lumos. This should be fun. No more happy days for you. <coughs> I'll make you wish you were back at school. Lumos. Enjoy suffering, do you? Lumos. Malin himself would be proud. Revelio. An intruder! Ugh, feels like I've been at this for hours. I can see why Feldcroft needs help. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of Chinese chomping cabbages. Repairer! Huh? Who is it? Well, something made a sound. Must have been me. One of the best meals I've ever eaten. <laughs> Is 
Rebellion. That's all the crates of Chinese chomp and cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. from Feldcroft in an instant. If you see dear Anne Sallow, please do give her my best. Rebellion. Hello there. Do you have the special delivery from my dear friend, Eddie? Hello, Mr. Undi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Marvellous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. Do you have any idea why the goblins are attacking Feldcroft? No clue. I used to think it was because of its strategic location, but now it's as if they were looking for something. I will admit, however, that I don't know what they could possibly be looking for. How do you and Eddie know each other? We met at Hogwarts. Been friends and business associates ever since. I wasn't surprised to get his owl about his Chinese chomping cabbage scheme. He was always one to go out of his way to help another. What do you have for sale? At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. A pleasure doing business with you. Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? Rebellion.
Revelio. Incendio! Revelio. I'll be unrivaled at the next course. Hello again, Amelda. Is your challenge still on the table? <laughs> that all depends. Are you ready this time? I'm ready to fly. Finally. A decent challenge.
have improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. You said your reputation for talent put some people out. Like whom? Hmm. If you must know, I've had to deal with jealousy from members of my own house. When we were first years, Nerida Roberts and I spent loads of time on our brooms, pledged to fly every day. As my skill on a broom grew, rapidly I might add, Nerida suddenly didn't have time for flying practice. I tried to give her pointers. But she didn't have the natural ability I did. Clearly, she was jealous. Her thing spends all her time now dawdling by the lake, obsessed with mer people. Won't even learn to swim. I refuse to downplay my talents to coddle someone else's fragile ego. <sighs> anyway, I need to ready the next course. Stop by when it's ready, if you can handle it. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. Another successful flight. I should let Mr. Weeks know. Any news about the dragon near Pit upon Four? Be enough to make me move, to be honest. Life is so peaceful in the Hamlets. Well, when goblins aren't lurking around every corner, it can't be good for business. I heard an Exora lives in a Hamlet outside of Hogsmeade. Think I'd want quite a life too after years fighting dark wizards. I adore shopping in Hogsmeade after it snowed. It's so... what's the word? Magical. Isn't Sebastian Sallow's family from Feldcroft? I would have expected him to be from somewhere more posh. I just wish they'd hurry up and assign the essay on werewolves. When are we getting to that? Professor Weasley said she'd help me with my switching spells after class. I think she's tired of finding partially transfigured items about the classroom. I wouldn't say Professor Howland has a particular affinity for these, but she's certainly knowledgeable. I imagine that's why she teaches the class. I heard that Professor Binns died one night and showed up to class the next morning as if nothing had happened. I don't think he even knows he's a ghost. I suppose in all fairness, one should be prepared for anything. I wonder if it's even quieter in the restricted section of the library. What would happen if you made a noise? Sometimes you can find some quite interesting things in the library. There's simply too much information if you ask me. Surely it's not all necessary. Next thing you know, they'll be teaching us about muggles. As a muggle-born, I used to feel I had a lot of work to do if I wanted to catch up to the other students. Now I realize that no particular group of wizards has the monopoly on skill. These rocks have seen better days. Incendio! Leviosa. 
incendio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Repairo, Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Rebellion. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful.
Incendio! Confrico! Revenio! Incendio! I know what that means. Merlin trial. Revelio. Rebellio. Rebellion. 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 
Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Perhaps before you leave here. Arrest the momentum. That's it. Keep it up. are on your way to mastering a resto momentum. Professor, do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? In class, I heard you mention the Toyohashi Quidditch team. I did. The Toyohashi Tengu are from Japan. Dominant, known for their rigorous training. They practice near the Mahutokoro School of Magic often battling both tempestuous seas and violent storms in addition to each other. Tournament play is almost always easier for the Tengu than their training sessions. I take it you're a fan. Fan? <laughs> I was being groomed to play on their team. And I would have been a Tengu if not for a bit of bad luck. I know that feeling. Some things are simply out of our control. Mm, and some things are in it. I should have known better. I made my own luck. I was betrayed by someone I trusted. Myself. I did not see clearly and I paid a dear price. My best friend Asuka and I were being groomed to play on the team together. I as keeper and she as chaser. She was breathtaking. She once corkscrewed through three players and scored before they even turned their heads. But as trials for the Tengu got closer, she panicked. I did not realize the extent of her panic until it was too late. She wanted so desperately for both of us to play together that she had slipped Felix Felicis into our tea before we were to show them our skills. Liquid luck. That's illegal, isn't it? It is indeed. I knew within minutes that something was different. I had never played so well. 
and Asuka was playing more beautifully than I had ever seen. When I confronted her afterwards, she admitted what she had done. I withdrew from consideration immediately. But it wasn't your fault. You didn't know about the potion in the tea. It does not matter. My flying that day was not my own. I could not live with myself. So, I withdrew and explained to them why. I burned my broom in disgrace. What happened to Asuka? Did she burn her broom as well? Asuka played for the Tengu for two seasons. You didn't report her? Tell them what she'd done? Her fate was not mine to decide. My fate is in my hands, as your fate is in yours. Thank you, Professor. I shall remember what you've told me. Arrest the momentum. 